kidnapper, rapist, murderer. Now we can add Flasher to the list of Wayne Cousin's crimes. Already, he will never leave prison, but today he was sentenced to yet more time. For the offence against A, count two on indictment number T2022-0638, the sentence is one of 19 months imprisonment. The court was played CCTV footage of Cousin's car after one incident, his number plate clearly visible, information that police had for three days before he killed Sarah Everard. The fact that no police came to find him or his black car to question him about these incidents can only have served to confirm and strengthen in the defendant's mind a dangerous belief in his invincibility. Could police have stopped him? An independent inquiry will seek to answer such questions. Now that Wayne Cousins' legal proceedings have ended, the police watchdog, the IOPC, has been able to release the full details of a WhatsApp group that was found on his phone after his arrest. In it, Cousins and six other serving Metropolitan Police officers exchange racist, sexist and homophobic messages, most of which are too extreme to even broadcast. A warning that some viewers may find, even what we can show you, to be highly offensive. In February 2019, Cousins joked with one of his colleagues, Matthew Forster, remember Forster, it's got to be consensual. Forster replied, they've only got to say yes once. In June the same year, Cousins and officers Joel Borders and Jonathan Cobbon shared racist descriptions of areas of London, like a Dulux colour code, said Cobbon. All shades of brown, replied Borders. In July, PC Gary Bailey asked how to groom hot young foreign girls. On another occasion, the officers discussed consent and when a woman says no during sex, that counts as rape. Even if you pretend you didn't hear it, asks Borders. In a further exchange, Borders said giving a woman a black eye usually makes her see things your way. All the officers involved have been dismissed. Last year, two of them, Borders and Cobbon, were sentenced to 12 weeks in prison. I asked the man now responsible for standards in the Met Police for his reaction. Are we doing lots of things now to root out those who are sexist, misogynistic, racist? We absolutely are. We have a long way to go. We've already taken tremendous steps to do much, much more around driving up standards and rooting out those who should not be in this organisation. Wayne Cousins has had his day in court. As for the Met Police and their response, the jury is still out. Matthew Thompson, Sky News.